Well, hello and good day. I hope that this video is finding you in good health and good spirits. I'm having a pretty good day. My question for the cards is, I want to do a reading on Joe Biden's health. Now, this has been a concern for a lot of people, not just in the U.S., but around the world, because, yes, the President of the United States is the leader of the U.S., but the President of the United States, all just due to geopolitics of the times and the circumstances, is also the leader of the Western Alliance, leader of the free world, if you want. So, yeah, we all kind of have a concern on it. And here's the issue. We have two elderly men that are running for one of the most stressful jobs on the entire planet. And the I guess everybody's kind of curious. Now, I've already done, taken a look at Donald Trump's health, and I will hook it up in a tag, one of those places. It's also in the show notes if you're interested in that particular reading. So, we're using the Sea Witch Tarot by Michelle uh, Tamopovich of Pentagram Publishing. I just love the colors in it. It is so bright. It's funny because when my shipment come in from Pentagram, there's a couple of other decks in it. And I didn't get around to this one for quite a while. And oh my goodness, I just love it. It's so beautiful. And I can tell a lot of you like it as well because you've mentioned it in the comment section. And I love to hear from you. So feel free to drop comments whenever you want on this channel because they are always welcome. Just doing a so. standard Celtic cross like what we normally do. And the first card, the signifier card that we have up is the Chariot. Now, the Chariot's a card about success and about self-discipline. It's about, you know, willpower and putting things into action, making things happen. And it's very much a card about movement, movement forward. And, uh, you know, it's the vroom vroom card for a reason. It usually means... Things are going to take off and take off fast at a steady clip and steady pace. This is Crossed by the Fool. Now, the Fool is a card that is about, you know, it's about the willingness to learn, really. It's like that beginner's mind, new beginnings. It's about having potential and freedom and being optimistic about the future that you are going to step into. And it's willingness to take risks of new adventures so this is certainly you know auspicious kind of opening for an elderly gentleman in the past we have the knight of cups and it's in a reverse position and this is a card that's about unpredictability it's about heartbreak it's about deception the knight of cups when he's reversed that's what he brings with him is all of this kind of sorrow and heartbreak and certainly Joe Biden has experienced a lot of heartbreak in his past he was a very young senator when his wife and I believe a child were killed in a motor vehicle accident his oldest son Bo died of cancer a few years ago his younger son Hunter has you know kind of notoriously been convicted on drug no he was convicted on gun charges because he had lied about his addiction status and he had a long-standing addiction that caused him all kinds of problems and he's been roiled in controversy that hasn't been helped because the Republican Party I really believe have done as much with Hunter Biden's travails mostly to embarrass Joe Biden like I'm sorry there was no excuse for showing nude pictures of Hunter Biden in a congressional committee that was unacceptable full-on period and there's no other purpose for that other than to humiliate the parties that are involved in the future, 
we have the three of swords and it's in a reverse position. Uh, the three of swords, we normally associate this card with heartbreak, which was the card before, but when it's reversed, this is a card that is about optimism and recovery and things coming together. So, you know, this is kind of, there is sorrow and heartbreak in the past, but the future is still looking sunny. It still has some bright moments in it and this whole idea that things are getting better as we move along and that is a very refreshing attitude for the sky the reading this is the overall objectives this is kind of the goals if you will we have the six of cups six of cups this is a card that's about family and generosity and joy and kind of that old-fashioned values being brought to life. It really is fond remembrances of childhood being brought into the future and this idea of leading with, with a sense of service, really. That's how I kind of see it in this. When you think of an old-school leader, right, where they think of those that they lead ahead of their own, you know, that goes with me. And can you tell I was military raised, right? That you feed the men and the horses first. And that's the job of any officer. So it's just kind of that ethos is what it reminds me of. That kind of in more innocent time. In the foundation of the reading, we have the four of swords and it is in a reverse position. The presidency is an extremely exhausting job. You are on duty 24 hours a day, seven days a week for four friggin' years. And if you do a repeat on this, like it will be for Joe Biden, it should he win, he will have done it for eight years where you don't get a day off. Yes, they go on vacation, but you know damn well that all of the communications equipment to contact the president goes with him. So it really never gets any time off. It's an exhausting job and it, it causes a lot of restlessness because you're privy to some of the scary secrets that humans have. So yes, the foundation of this is it's an extremely anxiety inducing, very stressful job. And so, yes, health concerns are a reasonable thing for people to have about the presidency. Message from Spirit. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, of course, is the most dependable of the knights, right? He comes in, he's hardworking, he's very methodical, he's very productive. He's very dependable, very grounded. Right, he's he's not thrown off by events when he gets information, and this is part of his his age, right? It's the experience. The man's been involved in Washington for fifty years. You're gonna have a hard time freaking him out about anything, right? Been there, done that, got the T-shirt. Environment. We have the Two of Pentacles, and it's in a reverse position. Well, that's no surprise. Two of Pentacles, when it's reversed, we're talking about overextension and everything in fluctuation. Well, yeah, that's probably a good description for the presidency You're right there, is that everything's in a turmoil. And you have all these people running around, and some of them are going to be calm and handle the job and you're going to have some people that are running around that the sky is falling and you've got to be able to figure out which one you're going to listen to in the hopes and fears we have the page of pentacles page of pentacles is kind of an interesting card for it but really it's a card that's about ambition well you know the point is is nobody runs for president without being ambitious Right. It's also about willingness to manifest your ideas, to take what you have, your ideas for the American society, and to turn it into reality. And all pages are messengers. We'll run this page's message at the end of the reading, but where the page is in an upright position is more likely 
to be good news than otherwise. And final outcome, Eight of Pentacles. Now this is a card that's about, you know, practice. Well, he's been in he's been in Washington in the legislative capacity for fifty years, right? It's about having the skill and the discipline that comes with that and craftsmanship and mastery. The man knows how to legislate. He knows how to govern. And this is something that is so lacking in Washington. You can just look at the House of Representatives. I mean, they couldn't govern uh, <clears throat> a drunken evening in a brewery. Although that's not quite the terminology that we'd use in these parts, but... I'm trying to keep it PG-13, folks, okay? Let's do it. So, we had a page in this reading. It was Page of Pentacles in that Hopes and Fears. And we have Eight of Cups in a reverse position. Eight of Cups can talk about walking away from things. But when it's a reverse, it's coming home to where you belong. It can also be a card that has an element of... Um, fear stagnation and a fear of change. And I think this is one of the motivating factors for Joe Biden to be running at his age, right? Is that he really believes that he is the individual who is most likely to be able to stop Donald Trump, which for him and for men of his generation is an existential issue when it comes to not only America, to the world. And he really believes that. And shadow card, it's perfect. Shadow card for the president is the Hierophant. And this is a card that's about, you know, it's about teaching. That's part of it. But it's also about wholesomeness and about freedom. And it is really respecting your institutions, respecting the traditions, respecting law, respecting the things that kind of, the structure of society instead of trying to wiggle it in and find the loopholes and make it all work. The Hierophant really and truly does respect the structure of the institutions and you know, the constitution and the separation of powers and the law. And uh, that's kind of what you want. You want somebody who's got a Hierophant mentality sitting in the Oval Office. So overall, what's my take on this reading? I don't see anything in here that would make me at all concerned about Joe Biden's health. He's an old man, period, full on. He talks like an old man. He stops and pauses when he is doing something. He has, and it's well known that he had a stutter as a boy. And of course, people that have dealt with that it takes a lot of physical training and therapy and that sort of stuff to overcome that kind of a speech impediment. And yes, when people are tired or under stress or it's just been a friggin' long day, yeah, stutters will come back, right? He, but he doesn't have the same indications of cognitive decline that we see in his opponent, right? We don't have the word salad. We don't have the gait issues that we see with Donald Trump. We don't have, you know, the, the kind of fading off and the loss of words and just the, the garbled, garbled nonsense that sometimes comes out of Donald Trump. He also see him like he performs very well in the evening still, which is something that people that suffer from cognitive issues often have problems. As the day goes on, their symptoms get worse and worse. It's called sunsetting. And, you know, you could tell by the State of the Union address that he gave in February. He was sharp as a tack. And... He can, he, he's not just relying on teleprompters and prepared notes because when he was being hackled from the floor by some of the Republicans, like he was like right on and right back at you, right? So, and his humor came through in a lot of cases. 
I still crack up when I think about, you know, Marjorie Taylor Greene trying to freak him out with her costume or whatever. And he's just like, hey, look at you. Oh, classic Joe Biden. Anyways, so, yes. My, my overall takeaway on this reading is, yes, he's an old man. But I don't think there's any serious health concerns that we have, would have to deal with any more than you would expect from a, a normally, generally healthy, active man of, you know, in his 80s. So if you like this kind of material, by all means, like the video. It lets me know and also the YouTube algorithm that you enjoy this kind of content and you'd like to see more of it. If you are so inclined, please subscribe to this channel. It gets us out to more people. And of course, the more people that are part of the community, the more fun it's going to be for all of us. And like I said before, feel free to comment. Love to hear from you. If you have a question for the cards, I'm always open to it. Some of the best videos that we've had here have been viewer suggestions. And on that note, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.